Hi guys, it is Tay Tutorials here with another tutorial. This tutorial is how to set up your own server, your Minecraft server. <laughs> and, uh, well, I already have one here, but I'm just gonna make a new uh, thing here. But, um, first thing we need to do as a server creator is be organized. We gotta put this somewhere. So we could put this on our desktop. We could put it on the uh, Minecraft, um, Minecraft uh, uh, so, uh, folder, dot Minecraft folder, or we can just put it in our documents. It it depends on where you want to put it. How easy will it be accessed? Uh, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna put it on the desktop. Uh, but that's also how I did it for my other server. I can just open this up like. Yeah, man, like totally. But um, if you want to create your own modded server, uh, if you if you could leave at least ten, no, five likes on this video, that this is how desperate I am. <laughs> uh, five likes on this video, then I will make a tutorial on a modded server. Or you know what? <laughs> if I just feel like it, I'll just make a modded server. But, anyways. So the first thing you want to do is we gotta put it somewhere. So go ahead and uh, right click, or however you open this little menu here, right click it, do new, new, and do folder. Now you can rename this anything; it won't matter. But uh, obviously you should name it something reasonable and something that will remind you, oh, this is my server. So we're just call, gonna call this server. Because that's the only server we have. Um, and we're going to open it up. Now, next, you're going to do the same thing with the right click. You're going to go down to New. And you're going to go to Text Document. Now, may, um, I don't really know if it uh, matters what you call this. But um, just in case, you should at least type Launch or Start or um, something like that start would be the best start um, <clears throat> so next you would open up the text document and uh, I know I'm copying off of this but it is really long and um, it is just it's just crazy it's just it's not right so um, go ahead and use this text it will let me copy this and boom alright and you're gonna paste this. Um, you can take this from the description, which I will have. Oh, but um, I don't know about that. Depends on how lazy I am. No, um, but <clears throat> I will post this uh, in this. Now the only thing that uh, you're gonna fill in is the gigabytes on here. Um, usually the default would be one uh, G, and what uh, the XMS is. One, two, um, but I choose two because I have four gigabytes of RAM, and I just want to, I just want to increase it for my server. Uh, or, or and <laughs> uh, this because I don't know whether you guys prefer spigot or bucket. If it's bucket, you just type bucket dot jar. But if you're spigot, just see what you see on screen, and um. Oh yeah, so save it. Oh wait, don't freaking save it. Um, save as, and go to uh save as type all files and do uh erase the txt or text and do bat or batch file and uh, save that. If it brings a message, the file might be unusable. Just continue anyways, and um. Get rid of start.txt and run it. We what? Um. Oh yes, derp. Wow. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself, guys. Don't do that. Uh, you can, but you won't be able to run it. Um. All right. Let's see. So I'm gonna be using my spigot. Did you? Um. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it. Boom. So now we got the spigot. 
but but you need well first of all like whoa 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 where do you download it so go go to your internet and I I just was downloading a plugin so so I just search in um it's you can usually type it on Google just bucket and it should say devbucket.org and um once here it'll go to back to bucket and then get craft bucket here if you or, or you can just do bucket.org what the frick no it's not what I wanted yeah I'm a big fan of GTA 5 just saying um just do bucket in the search I should take it there no idiot I hate these fill things it's so annoying Bucket. There we go. <laughs> God dang. So, oh, it's dl.bucket.org. I'll put the links in the description, anyways. But you just get bucket, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then you just get the recommended or the beta build. They finally updated to one. Oh. Wait, yeah, they finally updated to 1.6.2, which is kind of sad. Spigot has already done this. But anyways, if you want to get to Spigot, just do the same. <clears throat> and just click on this, Spigot, and then Spigot spigotmc.com. Uh, and go to Downloads, and click on the latest build. Or if you want to find the versions, unfortunately, you're gonna to have to go through all of them till it reaches 1.5.2. Usually, you can, you can use the dates to to see what version it is because if you know what date the um, 1.5.2 or whatever version came out at, you can just easily just pick them out. But uh, that's not it's not possible. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> anyways, just click on one of these. Uh, if it's the long version of it, just delete the snapshot 1.6.2 and just go to spigot.jar. Uh, um, I would highly recommend just doing the spigot.jar one because it's much more. You you well you don't even have to like delete anything, so that's the benefit of this. But anyways, go back to your desktop once you download it, put it in the server and start it. Now, if you get this right, you'll see a whole bunch of text, and it will start loading, and everything, and you'll get a lot of crap that comes in. So, you'll get worlds, and um, everything you can just play with. And you're like, well, I didn't have that. You probably, like, paused it, and then spawned all that stuff in. No, I didn't. <clears throat> but, anyways... So we're gonna wait for this to spawn in. Once that's done, you can go ahead and start playing with the server properties. Um, but before you do that, you must stop the server by don't close it, just stop. If you want to save everything that you currently have. And um, this is local right now. You're probably like, oh, I did it, so I don't have to do anything else. Exit out of this video. No. You're still not done. This is only local now. This was only um, on your own server here. So if you had uh, someone to, uh, like, someone who was not on your router or your house and was, like, down the street, you wouldn't be able to connect to each other. It's still a LAN server, which is why port forwarding is needed. Now, what you do. Once you mess with all the server properties, do what you want, blah, 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 um, <clears throat> you're going to, uh, going to, uh, well, first off, before you put forward, and you're like, oh, I didn't know how to do that, blah, 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 well, you're going to have to come back to command prompt. Now, you can do IP config in here. If you don't know how to get to command prompt, you just go to your start button, go to, go in the search, type run. And then do CMD in the run search bar, I guess. <laughs> and um, there you have it. I would pin this 
pin this to your taskbar just in case because you know you might need it sometime I, I usually do and uh, I'm just going to type in that and uh, you'll see all these random IP addresses um, basically you're looking for your wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi and this will tell you your IPv4 address or IP address I guess and um, so just make sure you copy that default gateway here uh, you copy that too or you you know make sure that you know what these are these two and no you don't need this I don't ask um, one thing I recommend you doing before you put forward is setting up a static IP I will also set up a link to a video to show a, a total different tutorial on that uh, but uh, I highly recommend it, uh, or your IP will change, and you'll have to keep on. Uh, you have to keep port forwarding. So that's not good, <laughs> and you don't want to have to change it a million times because your IP constantly changes. Not the default gateway; the default gateway is fine, but uh, that's only if you like move that it changes. But you're pretty good, anyways. After you set up a static IP, supposedly, make sure you have these two addresses. Uh, I would minimize it just in case you need it. Go to the regular internet. I don't know if this works on any other browser, like Google Chrome, uh, those kind of stuff. So, it might not work. I don't know. Uh, now, do not use the Windows 8 Internet Explorer if you have Windows 8. It will just pop up with like a search. So, don't do that. Um, anyways, just delete the search bar and type in your IP address or default gateway. And you'll get with like a password and everything. Now, usually your password is usually admin and password, but if that doesn't work, you you must have changed it or you put it wrong. So just um. That's the only hard part about this. Anyways, make sure you ask parents before you go on this because if you mess with anything, it, it could result in temporary or permanent, depending on you know whether it's resettable or not, damage to your router, and you could lose internet because of this. So once you're here, now each router is different. You're going to have to search a tutorial for your router or your port forwarding under that router but if you're un with Netgear then you're fine but uh, if it's similar to this if your router is similar to this just go down uh, on the sidebar to port forwarding and port triggering next you're going you, you won't have any of this right here let me maximize this so you're gonna go to add custom service and it'll take a while but um service name will be uh, I believe you can name this anything but it's just to help you remember again with the folder uh, kind of thing you can do Minecraft server you can do Minecraft blah blah, blah. Uh, you do 25565 as the uh, external starting in ending port and then use internal starting port which will be the same as the external or and you have to check use the same port range for internal port and then you can you can either type in your IP address or you can find one of the devices this is me so I know oh I can just select that or you can just type in it type it in it's really helpful if you just click on the device so that knows oh I just, I just do this uh, this this device and I'm fine but um once you do that, you do apply, but I already have one, so it's not going to let me uh, do that. So, and um, oh yes, sorry about that. Make sure also that is a TCP slash UDP. Otherwise, you're gonna you're not gonna be able to do it. Anyways, once you're done that, you pretty much put forward there. So now you can actually start the server. And um, oh yeah, sweet. So uh, we can close this now, and we can start the server. Now, <clears throat> oh yes, you know what? You almost made me forget. You gotta know what your IP is. Now, you're, I'm, I'm not talking about IPv4 address. That won't work. 
You can connect to it, sure, but your friends won't be able to connect to that IP address. That's your LAN server. So basically, on the LAN side of things, that's what your you know friends or uh, people and under your router would use. But for online, you would use your MAC address, which is you can go to several different sites to find this out. But um, you can do IP Chicken. That's that's always a good one, and you just go there. It'll say boom, sweet, and uh, go ahead. You tried to join my server because uh, it's whitelisted, so you really can't. So um, yeah. So once you know that, you're gonna go ahead and open up Minecraft. I already have it though, and just go to the multiplayer screen, and uh, just click on the uh, add server. Uh, I believe it is and uh, you should be good and then you just tell your friends your IP and um, and uh, where's you? oh yeah I didn't really copy it so you can just boom done sweet yay we're done yeah I don't know what that is but um anyways thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed it, oh, I didn't even turn on my server yet. But uh, once you're done with everything, you can make a whitelist. Just uh, add names to the whitelist. Why is? Oh yeah, it's not the right server, dude. But um, you can edit the server's properties. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not gonna go into detail. You can say what the server uh, says uh, on the like just below the name of it or whatever you put as the name. And then we have difficulty, we have the max players you can do, the game mode, PvP, online mode, which you should always put true, unless you don't want people to be able to join, except maybe your sister or your brother or something like that. Um, but So, you can change the building height, you can pretty much do anything you want. And uh, I'll get into plugins on another video. Um, if uh, there is a link in the description to my plugin video, then you can do that, but <clears throat> you'll pretty much start with one plugin. But anyways, guys, not to make the video any longer, um, I guess we'll see you later. Bye.